Be his peace. Be his peace. That's what you call warming up the seat. Thank the law for our beloved brother minister, Hakeem Wiley. Let's give him another hand in the Moving right along, we're going to bring our next speaker, Brother Minister Hakeem Wiley. Be speak. Here to discuss 
discuss in line with the other brothers who spoke. Why we should unite more so now than ever before. Y'all don't really need me to teach you about the history of suffering and slavery that we endure. You really don't need us to teach you that because you, you know that's true. Here's what most of the people don't know. What most of the people don't know is that one of the greatest crimes against humanity took place in the history of man on February 26, 1975. Anybody familiar with that? Now, the nation of Islam, let's be very clear about this. There was total autonomy, a total agreement among the ministers of the nation of Islam to sell out the honorary life of Muhammad. Don't try to fix it, don't try to change it. We got all the records. We're the ones who were on the scene and we were there and we never left the honorary life of Muhammad. We want the record to be clear. So the reason why these chairs are empty is because We've been ahead of time for a long time. So if you hear some things here today that you can go back and say, well, I didn't hear that, I never heard that before. What is all of this stuff about Elijah being God? I never heard that before. Well, let me tell you something. If the officials of the nation of Islam who was responsible for the leadership of the people really understood the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they would have skipped while it's alive when you coming in and ask about taking over the nation of Islam. I just want to be clear about some things here. When we talk about unity, it was not us who made it clear. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad made it very clear to us what unity depended upon. A message to the black man, the unity of 22 million, when we were just 22 million, the most honorable Mr. Elijah Muhammad made it very simple about how we could reach our salvation in no time. He said, the unity of 22 million so-called Negroes up from slavery is the answer to our salvation. Here's another cliche. We are so used to hearing these things, the unity. But what exactly is unity? No, I'm not going to give you Webster's dictionary definition of it. Unity comes down to this. Unity really means black love and black power. The honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us in that same article, he said, we are suffering untold torture and murder at the hands of our enemies, the children of our slave masters, because of the lack of unity. Now, you have to understand that we were taught for over four centuries, now over four and a half centuries, that there was nothing beautiful about being black. And now it's being reinforced by the leadership that they have before us today. And the leadership has really changed. Leadership used to be based on politics or religion or nationalism. Leadership now is Jay-Z. Rappers and records are telling us the kids are coming to you as if they get their conscious guidance from them. Now why is this important? It's important now because nobody wants to stand up anymore and declare them, themselves, as representing or fighting for the black man. Even the so-called pro-black ones. One man, they pro-black. Next minute, they're trying to use a pro-black doctrine to explain why they ruling around the white folks. We have reached a time that is no longer now about bearing witness to what.
what some other leader did 30, 40 years ago. But now the time has come for us to take what the Most Honorable Mr. Elijah Muhammad gave us. We have reached that time. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad went on to make it clear to us that the love that Master Farah Muhammad has for us is unequal. Now we should know that because all you gotta do is look around here right now and all over this country right now, a Savior's Day celebration is taking place. And regardless of who's trying to take credit for it, it was Master Farad Muhammad who had first defined for us what black love was. It was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad who had to define with his life what black love was. We thank you for allowing us to come up here and say these few words. But we just wanted to make the record clear because the next brother coming up here, the brother gives us so much information that if you just leave it, you won't get it. So he sent me out here first because he knew I was loud. So I need to wake up. May Allah bless us all. Happy Savior's Day. I smile like him. Peace, peace. Peace, peace.